Hey everyone, it's Almodert, and I wanted to show you guys my latest project for Paper Cakes, and that is by Serena Bean. Of course, I will leave a link into the description. Now, I actually use the new collection which she is debuting this week. It is called Love Bites. It is one of her Valentine's Day themed collections, but they also have a little bit of a bubblegum kind of pop and a little bit of a goth look. So I wanted to go ahead and try something with these sweet colors right now, and I'm so, so glad that Serena made something that for Valentine's Day that wasn't just red and pink, because you guys know how I felt about that. Um, there are some of these teal aquas, beautiful colors, which I absolutely, absolutely love. There's a beautiful little 3x4 card, and I will show you guys along um, what I made. And I will show you guys a little, I'm going to have a little um, process video at the end of this, so go ahead and stay tuned for that. And it shows how I actually saved, because I know sometimes people have um, a first thought of, oh, I have to print the paper and everything. But if you have a Cameo or Silhouette software, you're able to import it. And what I did was I imported my papers and everything, and then I went to the size, I sized the project that I wanted to do, and I basically just cropped out the exact size that I needed so I didn't have to print any extra paper um, and do that. So what I made today is a p envelope card. I've seen them done before and I'm not sure if that's what you call it, but I believe so. So what I did was I used this envelope die. Now you don't need this die, and FYI, this die is, um, you only can use it in the larger formats that does an eight and a half by 11 size. And this is uh, the Noteworthy Die by Richard Guy. I got it online. I don't even remember. It was too much if, if you ask me, but I digress. Um, I used that and I measured it and then I sized the paper in uh, my Cameo software to the size that I wanted and I made an envelope card. So let me show you what I did. And this is a five, um, it makes a five and a quarter by five and a quarter, but you don't need that die. You can make your own envelope, easy peasy, and then just size it to the size that you need. Now, these are some of the cutouts from the three by four cards of the journaling cards. And also remember you guys, you don't have to buy the entire collection. If there is something that you only like, let's say if you wanted to do only Project Life and you just wanted the three by four cards, you can easily just order the three by four card set. And she does have an embellishment set also coming. What I did is I actually just took these embellishments from the 3x4 cards. So literally that's what I use, just the 3x4 cards and some of the 8x8 papers because she has the 8x8 paper size, 3x4 and 4x6 journaling cards, and then also the embellishment pack. Now she also does have a um, a uh, um, a mini kit when you order the all the collections together you get you get also the mini kit that's the only way you can get that and I will show you guys the items that I got from the mini kit on that one so here is my envelope card there's a little bit of dimension that I did on this and what I did is I just used this um, and I will show you will see in the little um, process video this is from one of the journaling cards I went ahead and just cropped it out with a little space and also what I did I also mirrored it on the other side and I also made a smaller version so I can have a little bit of versions to play with. Now these Kiss Kiss Love Bites and Hey Lover actually come from one of the 3x4 cards and again I just cropped it out to what I needed to use to use up less paper and less ink. So here is some twine that I've had. I don't recall where I got it from and what I did as you guys can see here's the envelope. I went ahead and I cut the little flaps and then I also measured them and sized them to this side. Now these I just cut in a specific size and then I cut off the little edges. It was quicker and easier for me to do it that way. But I wanted to use these paper collections because this one is from the add-on kit and this one is from the main 8x8 paper. And I cut these in 3x5s and this is a 5x5. Five five. Alright, so and like I said those are from the journaling cards. And um, this go this is my favorite paper of the entire collection, you guys. I am addicted to these little lollipops. It's just so cute because it says, hey, sucker. You know, it could be a little joking thing. It could be something for just your friends or for Valentine's Day. It doesn't have to be just for a significant other. And on the inside, I just went ahead and did that. I used the little cutout things for the eyelets, and I just put little, um, I forgot what these are called. Um, what are these called? Oh, my goodness. Brads. I went ahead and put the little brads through here and um, not eyelets, brads through here. So on here, I also put some of the, this is, I love this paper. This is paper. This one is also from the mini kit and is super, super, super awesome. Check this out. It's too cute. These little tiny, tiny heart prints. I went ahead and used this for a little bit of contrast. This is also one of the papers, as you can see here. 
I only printed a small section so I can use just a small section has love and this is actually her handwriting this is another one look I love it love it love it um and yes, so, like I said, all I used was some of the 8x8 papers, the journaling cards, something from the little mini kit, just to make this. And I loved how I did the little white border to make it all pop out. And then it just fold. Okay. Oh, and I also used a lighter paper inside as opposed to more of a graphic print with the line. Um, because this is a light paper, this lavender with these adorable pop lollipops. And you can go ahead and write your message inside. But that is how I did it, you guys. Um, stay tuned for the little um, the little uh, process video so you guys can see and you get to see the entire process um, sped up because it took me too long to make it. Um, so yes, but look at this, my favorite little journaling card and the paper on the inside is my favorite paper from this collection. But that is it and like I said, it's a little um, envelope card. It's all here. It has on both sides. You can also just leave the inside plain and then just write whatever you want or on the inside if you wanted to leave oops, leave the panels plain and everything and then just add some little embellishments here and there and you won't even have to use that much ink and paper but I just had to do it and I loved how this paper coordinates with um, with the colors and everything so all of our colors are super delicious and very this is very bubblegum for me and um, like I said there's also a little bit of a goth twist to it you guys have to check it out a little bit of the end of love bites has to do with a little bit of the vampire look to it so I absolutely adore that so yes so that is my card you guys and on the inside it's all flat on the outside it's all dimensional so stick around to the process video um, and like I said, go ahead and check these out in the shop. She should be debuting it this week. Um, this is uh, for a Monday video, so hopefully this week it'll be in there. You can see what the awesome, amazing, amazing items that everybody else is showcasing, you guys. So stick around for the process, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone. So here I'm showing how I printed up the papers on using my Cameo uh, Silhouette software. And I printed it for the print and cut. As you can see, the image on the top left, that is all cut in 5x5, five five, and that one is from the mini bonus mini collection. And all of these other items right here that I'm showing are from the journaling card section, and these are from the 3x4. Now, the image below with the love and the teal, that is along with um, the other 3x4s, those are from the 8x5 by eight papers, which I just cropped up to the size that I needed of 3 and a 3 by 5 as you can see, these are the indication marks that your Cameo uses to cut it. So here I have, I have everything cut up. I have the little lollipops. I cut extra ones. And this is the hearts from the 3x4 card that I wanted to use to make it... Um, to make it to the size that I wanted to, I wanted to have it. And this is, I'm just showing again the die because originally I did start talking on the process video, but I was in a little bit of pain with my shoulder, so I wasn't able to complete it. But here I am showing the how I did the size. I took out a sample, I cut a sample I mean, then I cut off the side panels which I was then able to crop the little pages of the three by five into the size that I needed. Because they were beveled and I didn't have the exact measurements, I just cut them out and it was easier for me. So here I am just adding, these are, this is the outside part of my envelope card and I made it, I used these lighter teals, pinks, and uh, gray kind of background. Um, I'm sorry, the black line kind of pack background. So it could be a foundation for the 3x4 journaling card that says, Hey Sucker, which I am absolutely in love with. So I'm just going ahead and adding adhesive to the outside part. And I folded the, in the flaps so I could make sure that I had it on um, correctly on all sides, which leaves about an eighth of an inch border. And that is also how I did my side panels. Here I'm just adding them using my ATG gun and making sure I brighter them a little bit. I went ahead and did the inside panels as well. I originally was going to make two cards and I just leave the inside blank, but I wanted to over embellish it and show the inside also decorated for when you open it. It's kind of a little bit of a sweet surprise because this is just a card. Um, it's not an, a card within an envelope. Here I just went ahead and I just... Um, made a little mark where the bottom was on the bottom flap and traditionally it is supposed to tie off to one of the side flaps but I wanted it to tie off like an envelope like a policy envelope 
from the top to the bottom. I'm just adding some simple eyelets from your big box store and the little rings the reinforcers to make sure that I don't um, tear the paper. But it is a heavyweight cardstock that I used for it. And on the inside, I felt the teal right here completely matched the beautiful little lollipops inside and kind of pulling out the color of the teal lollipops because I'm glad that there's a collection out there that Serena made that didn't just have just um, pinks and reds for Valentine's Day. It also has some uh, lavenders and some blacks in there, but go ahead and check out the collection. It has more of a gothic look as well, so it can go either way. I wanted to show one project like this and then a project with another, with the other um, more of a gothic images that she has in that collection, which you'll probably see that in another project. So here I am just adding some dimensional phone, probably more than I needed, to the journaling card, and I'm just seeing where I want the little hearts to come out. And I went ahead and cut them on the sides because I wanted the journaling card that to be the main focus because that is my favorite. So here I went ahead and I just put some dimension, I cut these little heart lollipops out and I put some dimensional foam on it and later on you'll see that I come back and actually add some more foam because I felt that it didn't pop enough, you know? So I went ahead and I added another layer. And here I am just preparing the bow to make because I was originally going to put a bow on the stick of the sucker but I felt it looked kind of out of place at way at the bottom and if I put it up higher it would kind of just block all the words. And here I am, here's when I realized, you know what, it's too flat, let's go ahead and add another layer. I tried to pull it up, but the foam really had it stuck. So I just went ahead and used one of the other ones that I cut. I did print up several just for this purpose. But here I am assembling the bow, and it took me all this time to assemble the bow because I cut out the paper wrong and I just had to um, cut the bow in pieces. But just to get to this point of looking at it, didn't really like it, felt that it didn't really go with everything, so I just put it off to the side, probably use it on another project. But here is one of the other little hearts that I got from the journaling card, and I am just cutting it around. Also, these little uh, sentiments are from one of the journaling cards. It has all three sentiments on a 3x4 card. But it also comes with several collections of 4x3, which I ended up, um, I was going to use for the side, which I used the love, the one with the purple and the love on it, I that is from a 4x6 journaling card. But here I am, I'm just kind of layering it and adding some stuff to the back of it, st uh, staying behind the journaling card. And here I was having a tricky moment, but I went ahead and I just cut off a piece so it would go of the little sentiment that says kiss kiss, and that way it would go around the little foam that is behind the, behind the sucker. So now off to the inside, I wanted to go ahead, and since I did print up several of these little um, cutouts I from the journaling cards, she, uh, Sabrina also does have a um, sent, um, I'm sorry, not a sentiment card, a um, embellishments card, uh, set go ahead and check that out in the collection that she's going to be showing off this week but here i wanted to add another little lollipop just to go with the little lollipops in the background but i felt that because it has some of the letters over the lollipop i needed to cover that and i went ahead and i just started cutting some flags with the rest of these papers and some of these papers are from the full eight by eight papers that you can print as well but i printed a small portion because i knew i was going to use it as embellishments so here I'm just gluing the lollipop and then layering the little flags. And some of them you'll see I will cut as I go to show off, um, just to do a little bit of layering without having to give it visual dimension, but not actually have it have physical dimension. But here it is. And now I realized halfway through the whole situation that I forgot the twine. So here I am just tying off the twine to the top part of the um, of the envelope and then to the bottom and just tying it off. And here we go. So this is the last part of it. Here are some final shots of my finished project with a little bit of the embellishment scattered about. So go ahead and please check out Sabrina's shop, uh, Paper Cakes. Um, I will, of course, leave the links in the description. Check it out. This collection will be debuting this week. I absolutely love it. It can go either way that you want it. So check out the shop. And you guys, I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you for sticking by. Bye, everyone.